Hi and good morning, it's Jim from Our Star Observatory. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a gift today in uh, the form of knowledge. Um, so let's begin um, with fate. What's your thoughts on fate? Is there such a thing or is there just uh, random uncertainty uh, and sometimes, you know, flukes happen or mis you know um you know miracles happen okay let's let's just consider uh the earth's distance from the sun if it was further away uh most of the water wouldn't be in liquid form it'd be in solid form because it'd be frozen and if it was closer to the sun um most of the water would be in a gaseous form uh so you know the states of the liquid water would change uh it just so happens that we live in a goldilocks zone and it is just right uh, for water to be in a liquid form and that is really why we have such an abundance of life on the planet so I'm just going to talk about what we was just briefly uh, discussing yesterday in the video with the attitudes of people going one way uh, in the form of negativeness and this is exactly what happens if you start to think about fate or synchronicity and what we're having at the moment is a negative synchro synchronicity which will correct itself if you understand what I'm explaining to you you will know that at some point it finds its equilibrium uh, whatever state it is and just because there are millions of people right now uh, leaning in that negative state where corruption is very rife wickedness is very rife um, greed is very rife we all know these things what will eventually happen is it will change and you know there are two ways in which it can do that and you know what is going to happen is that we are all right now going through a phase where you know this behavior becomes rife it ends very horrible i will say that yeah, if you understand what I'm saying, you 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 can apply this to a lot of things, and I will explain in a minute how accurate it is what I'm talking about. So, things like to be in synchronicity, and if we just look at the behaviours of what we're seeing, we're seeing that the synchronicity in which you know the behaviour of people is falling in line with is a very negative behaviour, but it leads to a destruction and then things become out of synchronicity and hopefully there is some realization at that point where things synchronize in a better way in other words the behavior isn't negative the behavior is of good natured people helping each other and you know it tends to lead to a synchronicity in general of a better world now you're thinking probably prove it it's very easily proven. I mean, you've been looking at this bottle of water sat on the snow outside in sub-zero temperatures. And by the natural forces of synchronicity, uh, if you place that bottle of water on the snow, it doesn't freeze from the bottom upwards or the top downwards. It waits, oh, okay, I can't say it waits because then that would mean that the water is conscious, but it, it allows itself to get to a certain state where just in the click of a finger, if you do this experiment, you'll see it happen. The state, it's like a, it's like a chemical reaction happens and, you know, the, the uh, liquid turns from a liquid to solid pretty much spontaneously. And that's what you're watching in this photograph. If you look at the top part of the water, you can see it's cloudy and the bottom's clear. This is just one uh, aspect of synchronicity when, when chemicals fall uh, to the critical point where the change occurs. Um, it's, it's a shame I can't run the video and have the sound uh, you know, playing as well at the same time because there's some good examples. Another one is um, in the last 20 years, the millennium... Uh, bridge was built and it opened for the first time and when people started to walk on this 18 million pound bridge that had been built across the river thames uh, something unique happened people started to walk in synchronicity and it caused 
uh, a vibration to occur that are called that again caused more people to walk into in, in synchronicity because the bridge was starting to sway spontaneously synchronicity happens when you know the right circumstances occur and they always do occur in our universe you know the earth rotating synchronously around the sun is one example and another is the moon synchronously rotating around the earth at the same time you know if we look at all the other planets they're doing the same thing so synchronicity is a, a natural law of our universe and you know we can take it to the macro or the microscopic it, it doesn't really matter you know whether we're looking at galaxies forming synchronicity or you know individual families forming some form of synchronicity it will always occur eventually and you know it's almost like a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel isn't it um from what we was talking about yesterday because things will naturally and we can see that the course of synchronicity that is set at the moment is very negative and it's going to unfortunately and very sadly lead to some very ugly times ahead it's obvious that you know we are on that approach because there is more people with that negative uh, corrupt and wicked behavior and greedy behavior now than there is with those without those those um traits and as a result you know we fall into synchronicity just like the crystals in the water just like the people on the bridge and and the moon that rotates around the earth you know it will fall into synchronicity and take us to a certain direction and um, I, I have to say i'm really sad to tell you that you know there are going to be some really ugly times in the ahead in the future but after that point in time we go through that the synchronicity will disengage and there will be a period of time where there will be some random uh, things occurring but then all of a sudden after the realization of all those horrible things that have occurred synchronicity will fall in line again with a new attitude and you know more people will fall in line with that synchronicity and we will move off in that direction again how many years we're talking before we get to the good times is uncertain it all depends on how long it takes for us or or more of us to tip the scale which we're probably not far off i think you'll agree and fall into a line of probably you know we may see world wars happen again but but the point is this it will be caused through the synchronicity of the bad behavior of people in general this is what i was talking about you know the sad one of the sad things is of the second world war is that there isn't so many people around to keep reminding these younger generations of how much of an atrocity it was and it's not every day that we are um fortunate to see some of those things that occurred in the second world war um a real good example if you want you've got younger generations that you want to give them an idea as to how bad things was in those days you know i think that film shingler's list is a perfect example of what human beings are actually capable of doing and you know it wasn't just in poland in um auschwitz you know the death camp that we talked about yesterday it was in other parts of the world like stalingrad or st petersburg now as it's called it has a name change a few times but we're talking about the blockades um the cannibalism and the fighting over rations uh which led to you know millions of people dying so you know a little bit of a gift there of knowledge you know it, things can be very predictable it does look like fate uh, is inevitable uh, you can try and change it temporarily but it always seems to come back online you can fight fate uh, you know if you know you are going in a certain direction and you dedicate your uh, life to trying to change that eventually it falls back in line there's nothing really we can do about fate and you know again if we look at the universal equation 
that shows us exactly what I'm talking about. Again, but we're not talking about synchronicity there. We're talking about the map of the universe or more in general, the plan of the universe. And that is like looking at one of those Mandelbrot um, pictal uh, um, mathematical um, equations that keep producing patterns but the further you go into the pattern you realize it's where you started from only now you've gone you know 10 or 15 frames into that pattern that you start to realize that again the universe is very much like a Mandelbrot equation in the way in, in which it creates and you know the beautiful thing about the universal equation which I've showed many people and remember how that came about it was just one morning I had this equation in my mind written it down and you know had to share it with people you know the 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 beauty in that equation shows us that things can be filtered down into just two variables either a nine or a zero it doesn't matter how many uh strings of numbers you put into the equation you can filter it down to just two it's you know once you realize that there's no point drawing or writing a million digits out because you know the outcome will be the same either a zero or a nine no way can you change the outcome of that equation and you know this is exactly the same as what is going on in our universe with regards to synchronicity i think there are two very um key fundamentals that we've talked about which are important in life you know it does give us the ability to have a little bit of a crystal ball to know what is coming next because of the synchronicity of behavior which is occurring and then if you've got the majority in that behavior you know it leads to bad things uh, good things don't come from bad things that's a, an expression you've heard before but um yeah we, we were very much in a time where you know we can see what is happening um on a science note um you know they're firing anyone working in climate science right now that has alternative views on co2 driving global climate um you know they're ostracized uh, for having these alternative opinions and you know they lose their funding and they're even at some points being fired and i could reel off uh hundreds of names where this has occurred so again you know we go back to the synchronicity of the behavior of people even when there there is a clear understanding that co2 is not the driving force of climate um, the synchronized behavior of uh, influential people as as uh, guided the masses in a certain direction it's very hard now to even um, you know tell the truth uh, without people um, raising their eyebrows or you know not willing to uh, engage in the, even the argument or even the conversation that's where we stand right now and it's a very sad existence uh, that we're in but you know there is light at the tunnel at the end of the day like I said um, you know, they want to not just uh, fire people, ostracize them, you know, uh, destroy their lives. You know, they're also going out after, you know, um, small observatories, even like ours, um, you know, using an incredible force against us um, in, in mainstream media, um, converting people to... Uh, dislike people with alternative views can you believe that we live in that day and age and you know that is why really it's, it's important to you know f resist it and fight back and try and support observatories like ours because you know we're very tiny now beacon of light out there in the darkness in the vast darkness and for that reason we should be su supported a lot more than what we are and you know there are other youtube channels on there which should be supported equally you know if you want to keep some light in the vast darkness then you know the only thing to do is really get behind you know little truth uh channels like ours and you know in, in our case observatories where we go a little bit further you know by building some equipment and i've got some really interesting equipment by the way to show you uh, in tomorrow's video uh, we've built the laser 
the control box is yet to be finished but I can demonstrate the laser to you I think you'll find that really fascinating um, a lot a lot of hours have gone into that um, but you know yeah just getting back to you know raising a bit of support for the observatory I think I think some of you guys realize how important it is and understand what we're trying to do here in keeping people informed correctly using the scientific method um, to do that and you know really the only way we can continue doing that is by more people supporting simple as that you know we really are struggling um, you know with uh, finances at the observatory and I just hope that you know we can encourage a few more people you know to step up and help so hopefully you enjoyed the first part of the video and the gift in the knowledge of synchronicity and a few of the things that we've talked about at least you can use that tool in life and you will be surprised how much you see it um, you know in your life uh, even if you know you sort of like had an idea of these things happening but now you probably will notice them more so and realize that it's just the synchronicity coming together and uh, with that I'll say what I usually do you know enjoy your day look after your loved ones and as always, bye for now.